develops tomorrow, arson investigators will continue scouring the county for clues as to how the many fires that burned this week may have been started and by who. Tonight, we talked with a retired San Diego fire captain who says based on his 35 years as a firefighter, a majority of the blazes were deliberately set. It's been a week of warlike conditions for firefighters who put their lives on the line to protect homes all around San Diego County. At one point, more than eight wildfires were raging at the same time. I've never seen that, that number of fires break out in that short a period of time. Sunday night, we talked with retired San Diego fire captain Bob Lyon, who believes a majority of the fires that burned this week were deliberately set. It's been my experience that to have this number of fires in this close a time set is next to impossible for them to have been accidental. Lyon says arson investigators will work to rule out any and all natural or accidental causes of the fires. Once they do... Then you're left with a deliberate act. And once you determine that it's a deliberate act, then while they're investigating the scene, they're going to be looking for some type of ignition source. A difficult task, says Lyon. Sometimes a device, sometimes as simple as a cigarette, a flare, Cell phone video like this one sent in by a 10 News viewer that shows what is believed to be the ignition point of the Cocos fire are the kinds of things Lyon says investigators will be looking at. Once they've done all that, the other thing they'll look for are previous people they've had encounters with uh, for fire setters. If somebody's recently gotten out of prison that might have been an arsonist. Lyon says it will be difficult for investigators to obtain the proof they need because of where the wildfires may have begun, areas where there are typically few people around, making it possible for someone to drive out on a road, walk down a pathway, start a fire, leave the area, and never be seen. A lot of times these people, they start off, you know, they'll start little fires here and there, and they, get, they learn from their mistakes, and they get better and better at it. And Lyon says finding an ignition point is extremely difficult when you're talking wildland fires, especially if there is no video or witnesses. Lyon adds it's possible an arsonist could have started the fires with something that wouldn't leave a trace. 10 News will stay on top of this investigation and bring you any new information as we get it.